has been around for a long time, but definitely this wave of generative AI is beyond anyone's expectation. So especially the last six months, uh, you've seen um, people really capture the idea that generative AI can change the way we work, we live, we play, all of these, these aspects. So um, it's the most important technology driver for the next uh, five to 10 years. And um, it's one where I think we're going to learn a lot um, as we go through, uh, not usually you say you learn, you know, uh, on a, every year, but here you learn like every day. I think you'll see AI across um, every aspect of technology and every aspect of our life. So from a technology standpoint, uh, you'll see um, AI in uh, the largest data centers when you're training these very um, you know, large models with lots of data. Uh, you'll see it um, also in your uh, client device, in your PCs, and that will help us um, also use uh, AI. So I think that's from a technology standpoint. And then from a uh, work and a life and a business standpoint, I think it's going to change the way uh, we really operate because generative AI actually makes each one of us smarter and each one of us more productive and also allows um, you know, companies and um, uh, businesses and also uh, you know, students and all of us can become uh, much more productive uh, with uh, generative AI. It kind of is like we each have our personal assistant uh, to help us uh, really become uh, more productive in, the, um, in all the things that we have to do. Well, you know, the great thing is we all are learning and making the technology better uh, together. So when I say that it's improving um, every day, I think uh, you know, from a semiconductor standpoint, we focus on the hardware and software, and we've seen just a tremendous improvement in uh, just um, how we can become more efficient um, in our chip design and in our uh, software capability. And then uh, those who are on the application side are also learning how they can become more efficient. And I think the key is uh, to make it uh, as broadly adopted as possible. So as you go forward, I think generative AI will be in all applications and will allow the productivity to improve um, across many different applications. It is uh, so many people are uh, doing uh, research and development in this area. You can see it in the largest companies, you can see it in startups, uh, you can see in hardware companies, software companies, application companies. Uh, you can see it uh, in students and in universities. This area has actually captured the whole world's imagination. And I think we're all excited to uh, maybe change the rules. So usually uh, developments in technology take many years. But in this case, with generative AI, where uh, uh, we can make incremental improvements and the models are getting better and the technology is getting better, and also the collaboration between the ecosystem is getting better. So I think that's the reason that you're seeing the pace of innovation improve so much. Uh, Taiwan is an amazing ecosystem. I mean, if you think about the semiconductor ecosystem in Taiwan, there's nothing like it. You have um, all of the players uh, together uh, from uh, you know, hardware, uh, OEMs, um, you know, ODMs that work with uh, customers. You have the supply chain here. You have um, a lot of uh, innovative uh, startups as well as, um, you know, software and applications companies. Uh, I think the Taiwan ecosystem also has a very positive um, uh, trait that they move very fast. <laughs> Everyone is aggressively trying to capture uh, the new opportunity. I do think Taiwan is very unique um, in this way. I think uh, as uh, semiconductors is uh, so many specializations are here and also in uh, you know, very uh, close collaboration with each other. I think we all recognize that uh, Taiwan is a very special ecosystem for uh, this type of rapid innovation and um, the, uh, the talent and also the, the mindset is to be uh, very agile in adopting to you know, new technology trends.
I think AI is going to be so important for um, all of the technology industry, and I definitely think AI is going to be very important for Taiwan. Well, uh, the, what I can say definitely is, um, you know, from AMD's standpoint, uh, we uh, so appreciate the ecosystem in Taiwan. So, uh, main purpose to come here is uh, it has been um, almost four years uh, since I can have my executive team uh, here in Taiwan. And what um, our company has changed so much over the last few years. You know, we've grown a lot. In 2019, our revenue was uh, less than $7 billion, and uh, last year our revenue was uh, over $23 billion. So the company is uh, three times, more than three times the size. Our product lines have gotten a lot broader, um, from uh, you know, data center to um, embedded to communications to uh, you know, PC and gaming. And the ecosystem here in Taiwan uh, really is our partner across all of these markets. You know, we have uh, focused very much on um, you know, three things uh, in our AI strategy. The first one is uh, we have a very broad portfolio. Um, for AI, it's not just a CPU or GPU or uh, accelerator, you really need all different types of engines. And so um, our strategy is to have the uh, strong solution across cloud and enterprise and edge, as well as client PC devices. And uh, that's our um, uh, overall hardware strategy. Then the second point is a software ecosystem. Um, our view is that the uh, software ecosystem should be open, and so uh, uh, we have uh, uh, investments in our software ecosystem uh, with our partners. And then the third point is uh, to collaborate um, across the ecosystem. So these are the elements of our AI strategy. Um, I believe that we're still in the very early innings of AI, so uh, very early. And um, you know, this is a growth vector for the next uh, five to 10 years. And so um, you know, we'll continue to grow our portfolio in AI. But my expectation is that every AMD product will have some AI um, aspect in it. And uh, that's our uh, number one you know, goal at this point. If you think about it, over the last, like I said, 30 years, People keep saying semiconductors will slow down. You know, it's too hard, uh, scaling will slow down. But it turns out that the engineering innovation is so strong. We found a way to advance the technology. And um, I think ta Taiwan's a big piece of that uh, from everything, all of the innovation that happens here. I think we all have the desire to keep moving the technology forward. So. Uh, for that reason, I think a semiconductor, there's never been a better time to be in the semiconductor industry and uh, we'll continue to push the envelope on the technology going forward. Mm -hmm.